We talked about Sound of Freedom, and we have on today the CEO of Angel Studios who uh, produced this movie. Uh, Neil Harmon's joining us for two segments of the broadcast to talk about the movie, how they got it made, the importance of going see it, kind of like right. how this process started. And, and now that we're at this point where it's become, a, I think, a cultural phenomenon. Yeah, absolutely. It's probably one of the biggest, if you even want to put faith-based in quotes, uh, films to ever be released. I think they're, if they are not surpassed, they will be surpassing that record here very soon. Uh, and it is a amazing movie. It's absolutely worth seeing. But we wanted to bring on Neil because it will give you a little bit of a different perspective. This movie has been on the shelf from Hollywood for five years. They shot this movie in 2018. It is just, yeah, years before, yeah. has been just sitting there. As mergers happened, business structure happened, and this movie essentially was shelved until Angel Studios came in, found it, and now they have a bona fide hit on their hands uh, in a movie that is really uh, changing a lot of people's lives. Even my wife, who is pretty sensitive to, to these kind of films, wasn't something that she would probably actively jump in and say, this is the movie I want to go see. It's about child sex trafficking. The fact that this movie was released on July 4th, so we're thinking about our freedoms and... Um, and the lack thereof for these children, it um, it 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 really has taken on a life of its own. And we we expected this to be somewhat of a powder keg, but we didn't know that it would be this big. You've almost seen Angel Studios. What I feel like is double down in the sense of the chosen became what it was. And I felt like, wow, that's incredibly impressive for an independent studio. Credit impressive for anyone to have such a hit. And now to come out. And have a theatrical release. I mean, you had the chosen theatrical you know, specials and those things have happened. But to have this kind of momentum, you know, being probably one of the the bigger, if you even want to put it as, a, I don't even know if it's a, if you consider this really a faith-based movie. There's obviously faith elements that are in it. Uh, but it's a movie everyone needs to see. This movie is a true story and it's based on true events. And Alejandro Monteverde and Rod Barr, they, they actually interconnected multiple um, operations that Tim Ballard conducted into a single storyline thread that's a very beautifully told film. The people who actually just watch the film and and critique the film for the film's sake, this film is touching people. It is moving people. It is creating conversation. There's uh, there's impromptu standing ovations multiple times in the credits. There are people who are hugging each other who are complete strangers after watching this film. And it it taps into something that, that our culture needs so desperately, which is to unite around something as important as our children. And um, and that's the reason I think that it's launched a, a cultural conversation that that it, we, we just haven't seen in, in a decade. You go to angel.com slash freedom and you can you can either purchase more tickets, which Again, allows those free tickets to be available, or you can buy your own ticket. But if you need to, like Neil said, if you're in that situation where, again, a, a regular price movie ticket is just going to hurt you too much financially, they want you to see the movie. So much so that you can get one for absolutely nothing. Yeah. It's, we just encourage everyone to take a look at what's going on with, with not just Sound of Freedom, but all of what's happening at Angel.